Hey guys, Fabuli here today and welcome back to Cities Skylines. Uh, today we're going to be doing some more, I think we, we just kind of need to build more of the city because we've only got 71,000 people in this whole region. Like we've got all this area done and then there's like this whole section up here as well, but we don't have that many people. So I was thinking that uh, I wanted to develop probably this area here. Like we're so close to sort of hitting the edge of the map that we might as well finish up this space. Also, I was kind of like looking at it and there's just not that, it's... There's just not that much life here. There's like not much traffic or anything like that. So I was thinking maybe like this area is really busy. There's obviously a lot of people driving through it. It actually looks like it's alive and there's stuff going on. So I thought we would see if we can get some more stuff up here. Obviously, we last episode, I think I mentioned about the uh, sort of warehouse issues and all that weird stuff. Uh, and there was a really, really good comment detailing that. There was like a really long comment um, by... Velo... Velo... I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know how to say your name, but thank you so much for that comment. It detailed a lot of it. Uh, it's a lot of boring stuff that I kind of need to do to try and balance it and work it out. So I think I'm going to do that not right now. Anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still a little ill. Uh, anyway. So we are going to continue... Probably just using the crappy roads. Good old small industry roads. I actually want to probably change most of this area. I don't really like this... Like these blocks here. So I think I might actually, what I might do is actually just dezone at least this side of it, because this is not what I want. Now, I, I am going to assume that that's going to stay there, right? Because, uh, and then we're going to have to manually bulldoze it afterwards, because that's just the way things work in this in this save. Uh, so I'm going to remove this, remove these, uh, and then we'll sort of replan most of this. Uh, that's probably okay. This bit I don't really like, so I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so we're going to get rid of all this stuff now. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Oh, this is crap. I was kind of looking at the um, uh, the area just behind the stadium, which I'll show you in just a second, because I quite like the look of it. Uh, it's with all. It's when we had a. Go away. Oh, is this still zoned? Hang on. <laughs> what? I thought I dezoned that. Okay, clearly not. <laughs> Let me get rid of that. Okay. Um, yeah, it's the area just behind the stadium with all the sort of townhouses and that, and I actually quite like the look of that. Like, we, we did this area here, like, because I spent a bunch of time actually manually placing most of these. Um, and I actually really like the look of that. At, at, at first, I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of it, but I think it could actually look pretty cool if we get a bunch of them. Especially in this area, which is closer to the downtown, I think it makes a lot more sense as well. So I might even just clean out the roads here, because I think we're probably going to need to redo a bunch of these just so it fits in. Uh, with what we've already got. I might leave that bit. That might be okay. And you guys can go too. Goodbye. And I'm just going to... You know what? Let's clean out most of this. This crematorium can move to... I guess just here in the corner maybe? Sure. Why not? Lovely. Alright. So what I'm going to do... I'm just going to move it. And um, we're going to want to say... Oh yeah. This will be an all update. Oh. I remember last time when I was just like... I'm going to just like pillars. And then you guys were just like... It says alt right there. <laughs> so that was quite funny. Okay, so I do I want the I probably want is there like a good block of houses that I can use? No, I think what I'm gonna do, I think I'll select the um just the buildings and then I'll figure out the rest. Let me move them over there. Okay. So I'm gonna go select this is like the worst camera angle, hang on. There we go. Select that and we'll duplicate that over here. Okay, so we're gonna move this over here. Uh, yeah, because I think this is like the perfect area to do a bunch of townhouses. We've got the huge downtown area just there. If I line these up right, then we can probably get a road coming back through here. Like, it'd be really nice to have like a bunch of alleyways and that for these houses. Uh, obviously I'm going to move that road. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Why just flip these around like that? Oh, flipping it around is exactly the same because that's exactly how I built this in the first place. It's quite funny. <laughs> flipping it did nothing. Uh, well, I might do this and then... I'll get rid of that road, and then I'm going to clean out some of these in the middle, and we'll figure out how this works. Okay, so we're going to get out uh, the good old small road here, turn off all the snapping. This is going to run straight back through here. There you go. Love. I, I like how they're upset about that. Like, dude, I just gave you road access. Why are you so upset? Then this road, uh, you know what, I might just do a really neat parallel run, like, right here, because that would probably be the easiest way to sort of connect it all up. Now, I wouldn't mind having, like, an alleyway through here. Which I guess we'll do... You know what I probably should do? I probably should have leveled this out a little bit. It's not too bad. It's probably okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to run a pathway. I think this... Oh, you know what? This one. No, no, this one. The real stinky one. Oh, you know what we need to do? Let's go no collision. That will... Or not. Oh, I think I have to do it with the road first. Road, no collision. Go back over here. Get this so we don't accidentally destroy all the houses in the process. Now, I'm wondering if I should just drive this through these buildings, even though these clearly go further back. I think it'll probably be more useful to have this pathway go all the way through than for it to just stop there. Um, 
while it may not be super realistic, that, I mean, it would be more convenient than anything. Okay, so it's gonna go there. Uh, then we need to see a few more houses on this side. So I might actually just move these here. And then I'll move these guys just in this way a little bit. Then I might just move this one. Oh, hang on. Can I, um, I don't think I can flip it easily. Well, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, go away. <clears throat> uh, let me just clone one. The problem is there's actually not that many townhouses by default in the game. Oh, that's the exact same one. I was trying to, I was like, let me choose a different one. Chose the exact same one. Yeah, most of these are the same. It's just because they're all different colors. They kind of at least get a bit of a different look. Uh, and most of these are overlapped with each other. I think that'll be fine. Maybe I'll just put some trees there or something and we'll just sort of cap that off. All right, so what we're going to do, this road is going to come right there. So it is pretty close to this, but we'll do some uh, intersection rules on that. This will come straight along to there. I might even bring that back a little bit because I would like this to sort of intersect at the exact right spot. So there. And that building should be able to say that. That should all be fine. Uh, that should be no issues at all. All right, so then I'm going to change this pathway. We might as well go with the stank, the stank pathway. I don't know why I'm calling it that, but it, it just doesn't look very nice, you know? It's like really dirty and there's like um, pebbles, not pebbles, like gravel or something, and there's rocks everywhere. I don't know. It, I think it's more fitting for this area. It's not the cleanest area, but it's going to be good. All right, so that's going to go there. Then we're probably going to get rid of most of these roads here as well. Uh, and this will probably flow along like this. If I can get a uh, good block of houses, let me do this section again. So I'm going to get this and clone it, and we'll flip it around. That should work quite nicely. That'll go about there. Lovely. And then we're going to do the same thing again, and then this will go... So these ones, obviously, those larger buildings obviously, you know, sort of cut through the back, but we decided we were okay with that, so whatever. All right, so then this is going to come straight up. Whoops, no, not with the bus lane one. Straight up like this, and then we're going to get out this pathway. Not pathway, road. And then this one, actually, we can probably snap on this grid here and just go straight along. Yeah, so that will be like, this is sort of the, the alleyway road, which, I mean, I think it will look good. Because uh, normally you'd have like the alleyway, but like at the back of the townhouses, like in here, but we did the pathway instead. I think this will probably just like look better overall for the, these houses, so. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you know, let's hope so. Now, actually, are there any trees that we left sort of in there here that shouldn't be there? I don't know. All right, so let's go here now. This pathway is going to go straight through, like that. Now the idea is that we will clone. Oh, we need another set of houses. And these go here. I'm doing. The, I'm just trying to do like one section. Uh, actually, how big is that? How how far apart did we do these? So I should probably just do it the same. Seven units. Um. So that, and we get rid of that. Actually, is that actually exactly seven units, or is it like? It's kind of seven units. I think it's exactly seven units. Okay, that's good. So I'll go there. So that means this one can go straight along. That'll go straight there. And we just cut off the excess. And then we should be able to join these together pretty well. Now, it would be nice to be able to just clone the roads. But I think cloning the roads is going to be more difficult than not. Because all the intersections won't be joined. I might also just turn on collision for a second. Uh, so I'm going to do this. Now, how long is this? Is the other question. 21. Okay. I probably should have... So 21 is there, but we'll probably do a different one here, I guess. So, you know, just ignore the 21 and then a different one here. So this, I thought it, uh, oh, I've got prop and tree anarchy on, right, right. Can I just, there you go. Cool. All right. So that's going to go there. And then we're going to do this right here. Whoops. No, not upgrade. This is going to come straight on through. Now, I don't know how well these will be populated. I suppose we'll find out. Um, yeah, I want this to be 90 degrees, please. Yeah, there you go. So most of those are going to get destroyed there, but that's okay. I kind of want it to be like that anyway. And get that coming through. Uh, is that... Oh, that is 90 degrees. Perfect. That actually worked out really well. I'll come up here, and then we'll just do this whole section here. We'll see if this, you know, works out. And if it does, uh, good. Great. Then we can go from there. So now what we can do... Duplicate this sec section. Put it in there. Is that close enough? Yeah, that's close enough. And then, you know what? At the end of the day, I really hope this actually looks good, because if it doesn't, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed that, <laughs> that we did all this. So it's going to go straight through like that. I think that'll look pretty good. Like, it's just a whole bunch of townhouses. I think that'll be good. Like, it'll be this whole section. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to make it a little bit more fluid through this area and sort of figure out all the connections through here. 
Um, probably make this area a little bit more dense with buildings as well. Because if we're going to have this whole sort of population with townhouses here, we're going to need to be able to properly, you know, service the area. I think that should be okay. I might continue this alleyway as well. Well, quote, alleyway. It's not really an alleyway. It's actually just a road. Just a normal road. So I'll go like that and then we can just place a bunch of buildings in there. That should be quite good. Um, let's see. We've got the tram there. This should all be filled in nicely. So let's see if we can just quickly do this. Now, this probably won't fit exactly in most of these areas. So what we're going to do, we're going to place all those. Then delete the excess. Uh, like so. That should be good. Lovely. And then we do the same thing again. But with this larger one, because we've got a whole section to do. Probably should have done that at the same time. I don't know why I didn't actually. So let's select all of this. Duplicate all of these. I don't know how many families actually live in these. Probably, I don't think there's many because they're not actually high density. Oh, I see the problem because they don't actually line up properly. Hang on, can I undo that? Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Actually, you know what? I don't need to undo that. I can just move it. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Using the whole mod that's literally called move it. There we go. And then let me move these guys. Just, oops. Move these guys over a little bit. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Actually, that's something I didn't consider. Some of these heights are not quite right. <laughs> Some of these are a little too high up. Uh, yeah. See, this is why... Um, whoa, too far. This is why uh, I should probably have like leveled the area first. Or actually, if I put on... Oh, that already says follow terrain. Maybe that wouldn't have helped with this case. I don't know. This is... Oh. You know what? I'll do this. I'll do this later because... we. C I could do that now, but you know what? It's going to take a while. It's a little... Yeah, it's a little hilly. Uh, it should be okay though. So let's go there. That's good. Uh, then let's get uh, some houses here as well. Probably... Let's just finish off this area and then we'll uh, figure out the rest. So let me get these guys. Move them in here. Lovely. Uh, let's get... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Hang on. Select, uh... Let me get rid of that one, because that's sort of extra. How many do we need? Let me just select this bit, and then we'll see. Duplicate! Right about there. Now this one we could probably... Oh, hang on. Excuse me, just move in a little bit. Uh, just move down the line a little bit. There you go. Lovely. There's a lot of these that are just bright red. They love the color red. I kind of wish it wasn't red, but that's what we got, so that's what we're dealing with. Um, actually, it's quite good. Most of these houses don't have the ones that sort of cut through, so that's actually quite nice. Alright, so we're gonna- whoops. We're gonna select, uh, this section. That's probably enough, isn't it? I might actually just flip it around so it doesn't look identical to that one. I mean, this is obviously all supposed to look pretty similar, because it's a whole section of townhousing. Um, but half of them are like all over the place. Whoops! Damn it! <laughs> Not what I meant. I meant to bring these closer to the road because I feel like the spacing between some of these um, blocks is a little bit different. So I just want to adjust these ones. And then I'm going to just, I guess, duplicate that and put that in there. Okay. Looking good. It's looking like townhouses. Is that, uh, yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay. Uh, and then this block, I'm hoping that these are the same size. They kind of look like it, so... I'm banking on that fact. Uh, pretty similar. A little bit off, but pretty close. Okay, now my question is, if I just play now... Are these not going to fill up with people? Oh, there you go. One, yeah, so they, most of these have one household in them. Which is interesting. Uh... <laughs> So there's not actually going to be a huge amount of people through here, even if these do fill in. I don't know how long it's going to take if they do. Oh, there you go. There's one household. Uh, however long that's going to take, I don't know. Uh, so if I have a look here as well, this is all in this district, which is good. Uh, now, basically, I probably want to fill in most of this area with more of these. Not all, like, this grid, but I'll probably sort of curve it up and around a little bit. Um, I guess, you know, we can probably... Yeah, let's put, is that all of the townhouses we need? Do we need more than that? I don't know. There's a lot of townhouses here. I don't know that we need more. Maybe we don't. Maybe that's it. And then we just do normal zoning. Uh, I got too many. <laughs> Hang on. No, T, T select. I just want like this many. Because then I can sort of do it section by section. So if I do this, D select, select that one, move it back, rotate it. Look at this, custom placement. Who would have thought that we have the technology? And then we get a few more of these guys. Thank you. 
can go there. I think you guys can go here. Just on that road. Look at this. Beautiful. Um, and then I might just do some zoning through here to see what we get. Because it might actually be okay. Uh, it might also not be. Okay, can I? Uh-oh. Oh, it's all they say. <laughs> don't, stop, don't scare me like that. Alright, let's get you guys in here. Uh, there you go. Now, yeah, I'm interested to see how many people actually move in here. Uh, I guess the way we could figure that out is if we just do a separate district. Because I'm interested to see how many people live right here. Chestnut Heights. Wow, 1,300 people. Amazing. Um, yeah, I think there's definitely more people here than there was. And there's, it's increasing, which is quite good. So that's good. That is actually working. I'm just, I was just hoping it would come to life a little bit more because it just seems super dead, you know? Like, there's not really, like, there's just no cars or anything. Like, look at, look at this road. This is like a main road. There's like one car on it. <laughs> That's what I was like. I was just like, I wanted to come to life. There's just nothing out here. Like, this whole area is so busy that we had to, like, build extra road. I tried to do... I, I don't know that it's there. I think I... No, I tried to do custom traffic lights here and here to sort of get this whole area flowing better. It, it didn't help. It was still pretty bad. Uh, so leaving it default was actually better. Um, yeah, so that, that's kind of all running through there. So I was like, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, we'll be okay. Okay, so... Looking pretty good. So over here, uh, we do have some commercial demand. I might do... Do we have, on this district, what do we have? Because uh, I would like to do city planning. I do... Mm, maybe not high-rise ban on this whole section. You know what? Let me do a different, different district here. Because I want to do a high-rise ban. A district here alongside this road because I want to do like high density stuff just so we get like those sort of bigger buildings but not like I don't want them to be maybe we'll just bring it back to here uh but I don't want them to be like skyscrapers size like there's just too much Robin Heights fantastic all right high rise band through this area then I would like to do some commercial because uh, it was a very sort of industrial commercial area so it'd be nice to sort of fill this in with that kind of stuff don't know what's going on with that zoning there um, I'm not going to put a building there. What are you guys doing there? Honestly, get out of there. <laughs> don't. Stop. You're not living there, alright? I'm building my own thing here. I don't care what you say. Uh, I'll get in some... Do some offices through here, maybe. Because that'd be quiet, but those should be pretty good. Just through this little section. Alright, so this is our townhouse department. That's pretty good, because we got sort of medium-rise buildings here, and then it goes to sort of more like high-rise, and then absolute skyscrapers there. And then, here is like the, um, I think it looks pretty good like this. I, obviously, I think that road there looks really bad. <laughs> and it looks really stupid. But, when you sort of look at it from an actual city perspective, I think that looks pretty good. You know, I think that, that sort of flows in quite nicely. Alright, so, we definitely want a road connecting through here. I think what I'll do, why don't we plan out the roads? Uh, I don't think we're going to need any main roads through here. It just doesn't seem like it's ever going to get to that point. So I'm going to have this road come here. Is this actually parallel to that? Oh no, it's slightly off. Uh, how do I want to roll with this? Because we've got the edge of the map there. Um, I might... What if we do, like... A big park. Hang on. Like here. I don't... I mean, this is not really much of a park kind of city, is it? The other city is, over the other side. But I was thinking, like, what if we have the road, like, sort of come here and it sort of, like, curves out a little bit. And it comes here. Oh, okay, you know what? A little bit further than that, maybe. It comes here. It curves in. And then, like, this whole band in the middle is, like, like, like parks and that? I don't know. I mean, have roads coming through it. Maybe just one there and, like, one here. Just so then it's, like... Not all this development kind of thing, you know? I might have this go a little bit more. Just a little, little bit of a curve there. Uh, and then this area here probably should be zoned in maybe with like commercial or something, I'm thinking. Can I get that? Yeah, I want to run that parallel. Maybe leave a gap there, have like a little pathway coming through. That'd be good. Uh, and then I might just do the smaller road. Maybe this guy. Maybe not quite there. Maybe here. Uh, uh, I don't know why I want to join it. 
Oh god, I forgot I forgot we had all the garbage trucks here. I was like, we got so many garbage trucks coming down this road. Yeah, it's because I built a bloody um recycling plant right there. How far does the pollution go from that actually? Oh not very far, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, so this area I think it's like commercial office space, all that kind of stuff. I might do some offices here. Maybe some commercial here or something. I don't know. How far how far back does that district go? Oh, it's all the way back here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that should fill in. Yeah, so what I was thinking here is we actually do a park with this guy. Um, yeah, why not? Just in the middle. Does this- this doesn't snap to roads, does it? Oh, wait, yes it does. Although it's cutting too much- oh, whoops. It's cutting too much away because I want it right to the edge of the road, but not like... There we go. Yeah, I just want this middle section to be a park. I mean, I guess we can't make it too nice. But it doesn't have to be too bad either. You know, just this little section here. I thought it'd be that'd be a good thing. You know, it's just a good thing for the people. Um, I'm thinking we do something like this. Have like a little woo. Look at this, beautiful. That's that's too much at the end. <laughs> You're a little carried away there. Little little less. There we go. That's better. Do something like that, and then obviously you just have your pathways coming through as well. So maybe like one here, like that. This one go here, like that. That looks boring, actually. That looks really bad. I think that needs to also be curved. And then it'll be beautiful. Okay, can I... Just a little bit. Why do... It's like snapping so much. Dude, just a little bit. I want to go, like, there. Stop. Turn off snapping. I don't care about space already occupied. There we go. See, was that so hard? Lovely. That's... that just. I think that just looks way better if it's, like... Uh, this one's so close to the other one that it kind of looks weird. I think it's just way better than just having a, a direct straight pathway going across. That one might actually just go straight to that corner. That'd be good. Then if we have one here... There you go. That should be good. And then that's like a park, like park space. And then we can probably do stuff like... Not full on zoo, I don't think. Maybe just like standard park. Should we have like a small park main gate? Just so it's actually like a park. Um, I mean, we need a main gate for this thing. Just over here. Maybe here. We'll move that pathway. Wow, it's a park. <laughs> wow, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I also, no, I'm not going to bother charging for this thing because it's going to be crap. But I just wanted it to be, I just wanted it to be a legitimate park. Like, is that so much to ask? Okay, turn snapping back on now. There we go. Alright, so there's that. Where is my park? Here it is. Uh, the price is going to be free. There you go. Enjoy. And then we're going to get some stuff in here like maybe a cafe or something. I don't know. Cafe. And then maybe like... Not an information booth because screw that. We get a, a toilet like right next to it. It's probably a good idea. Oh! <clears throat> we haven't actually unlocked any park stuff in this city. Hmm. Yeah, that's an issue. Alright, well let's not worry about most of this stuff then. <laughs> Alright, well we got that stuff. That's that's fine. Let's get some trees in there. That's the only other thing I'd want to put in here. Uh so we're gonna go like this. Oh, that's actually not the tree I meant to place. I thought I I thought I'd selected one of these. Uh oh, that's smaller than I thought. You know, uh, tree it up. Make it nice. Make it like a, a place to actually go and enjoy and you know, run around in the grass or something. I don't know. Sure, why not? Look at it, it's beautiful. And then, I wouldn't mind lining- Oh, that's not part of the park. Uh, the other side with like shops or something all the way along, or maybe even like... I don't know. Could even be something gross, so we, we just put like industrial over there or something. No, let's do commercial, because then we can maybe attract some more people to this area in general. And really get them sort of flocking over here. Because I'm just trying to get more life out this way, you know? It's just so... No, there's nothing going on here. Do what? What is the coverage here? Nothing. Oh, that's right, because yeah, we don't need to worry about that. That's right, we got that whole thing. Uh, crematoriums are good. Uh, fire department, not so great. Let's get a fire department maybe like over here. It's the other side of the park. Police department. We could get another one over here too. We're not really... How are we doing in the money department, actually? That's always a, that's always a classic question. Uh, I think we've started educating more, haven't we? Because that was actually a really big issue that we were having. It was like, just so many people in the city were not educated and it was actually a problem. I might get a school right there. Because that's kind of near the public transport as well. There's like a tram there. It's not too far. Uh, that's pretty good capacity. Yeah, we're actually pretty good with capacity. I mean, elementary school's a little low, but it's like, eh, eh, eh. 
Uh, now, bus-wise, we could probably run a bus line maybe from this stop and like sort of come up over here. I think through this area and like join up to that um, tram stop maybe. But I'll leave that for now. We'll see how this area develops first and then we'll go from there. Alright, so this is going to come up there because that's where I want that at some point. <clears throat> I don't think I'll do any roads through here. Uh, through this middle bit. Maybe we'll do some pathways or something, but I don't know. Uh, so we do have a bunch of people walking through the park, at least. So that is something that they can do. Uh, eh, look, it's not a bad area. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty hip and uh, rad with the kids. It's a new up-and-coming uh, young professionals area. Uh, now, traffic-wise, <coughs> there's none. <laughs> it's all here. It's here. It's like this area. Uh, this sort of whole industrial stretch, which makes sense. And I think we have a little bit here with the uh, the port, but that's about it. So, we don't need to worry about it. Actually, you know what? Let's have a look. City statistics. Uh, city treasury. Oh, look, we're on the rise. We got below 2 million, and then we're sort of back up here again. You know, I think I'm managing the city to success. Oh, yeah, this is a really sad town. Imagine if we lived here. They got pretty nice roads, though. There you go. It's all good roads. They got a train service and everything. This actually worked out really well, that sort of train addition. Um, Alright, back over here. I think this is I think this is good. I think this is kind of what I want it to be. We've got a lot more residential demand. Um, now, I'm thinking maybe we try and do some residential through here, through this back area. Uh, just like normal houses, not like... This might actually just do this with it. Just so we, I don't know, just so it looks a little bit more interesting than just a straight up grid. Because I don't, I don't want it to be all grid everywhere. Because that gets real boring real fast. Uh, so if we do something like this, and then I wouldn't mind maybe getting another road. Should we do more curves? I just want it to look, I just want it to sort of feel pretty, like, densely. Like, I don't want it to be, like, spread out sort of suburban. I want it to be, like, the really sort of packed in suburban, you know? Like, it's real- it's a real sub-urban place, you know? It's not quite urban. Nearly urban. It's sub-urban. <laughs> I'm gonna stop saying that now. Alright, let's <laughs> get a good here. Uh, straight down this way. This should pack in pretty nicely with houses, I think. Just join those two parts. Get this guy through here. Might do that. And then what I might do here is have the pathway going through. Like I said, I don't want to put any, uh, roads connecting through to that. I think we'll just get a convenience pathway. Uh, maybe through here. Is that going to destroy that? It's not. And I actually don't mind if it doesn't want to. I should probably turn Collision back on, though. Uh, yeah, I don't mind them just walking through there. That's fine. What we will need to do, though, for sure, uh, is... What am I doing? Uh, crosswalk right about here. Right about there. Probably just another convenience one in the middle. And maybe another one here. <clears throat> so they can actually cross this road when they need to. Crossings down there are probably fine. That's fine as well. Yeah, that's good. No worries there. Yeah, so they can at least like sort of get through. Now, I also realize I haven't done any of the pathways through the back of these houses. I'll do that. When I go through and sort of like level these houses down so they're actually at the right height, I'll sort of do that as well. All right, so this area back in this uh, section. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. It's just like, just sort of getting over cold. Okay, there we go. How are we doing with water and all that? Pretty good, actually. Alright, so this, I think, I'm hoping we can just sort of fill this in pretty quick. Now, the question is, do we do high, de no, the high density stuff never looks that good. Let's just try doing low density houses and see what we get. I'm interested to see what it decides to build. It might look okay. It might look dumb. I'm not sure which one it is yet, but we'll certainly find out. There we go. So we design all of this. Nice houses packing in here. Maybe that bit there as well. And then we'll sort of figure out the rest later on. Alright, so that will start filling in uh, even more so. Over this way, we're probably going to want to do some more commercial here, just along this road. Uh, just so it sort of fills in a bit. So then we have hopefully more demand for, uh, whoops, for residential over here too. Be quite good. I don't know why I did that manually. I, do, I, I wasn't, look, I wasn't going to put offices here on the corner, but I decided to, so whatever. Okay, then this section here, because it's obviously near... It's getting near the pollution area, it's getting near, uh, probably noise as well. I was thinking maybe we should just do offices through this midsection. Just so it's not as garbage of a place to live. Like, <laughs> you know, it might be a little bit nicer. They don't really need offices right now, we also don't even really need residential anymore. Apparently that's all the residential we needed to fill that demand. Great. 
Although, look at this, we've got cars driving around the area now. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> That's pretty exciting. Okay. Uh, now, this, yeah, I want to fill in all those areas. There's a few little spaces I'd like to fill in. We got, oh, actually, you know what? I should probably zone this road back up again. I didn't actually mean to do offices, but turns out I did, so sure. Eh, get some commercial through there. We don't have a lot of demand for anything right now. We sort of have to wait for it to pop back up again. But that's okay. I think that's looking a lot better back through here now than what it, like what it was. I think it's nice to have that sort of townhouse section. Um, this whole city area. Oh, look, we won. Yeah, we got a bunch of money. We're over $5 million now. Um, so that's good. So I want to continue finishing this area off. I would like to also probably finish off the airport section. Because we just got this weird section of zoning here, which is obviously struggling, number one. Um, but we've got so many people moving through this area. We've got a few things over here. Like, I would like to like, sort of just fill it out. You know, this section, I feel like this section needs some houses or whatever. And maybe back here a little bit. And then I'm happy with that. Because uh, I, I think we're probably nearing the end of this series. Especially just because I would like to end it. Uh, so I think once we finish that bit, the airport section... And then I think also over in our other city, like this area here, a little bit back here, like there's a few spaces just around that sort of need to be finished off. And then it will look pretty neat, pretty done. And then we will be done with industries. But until then, make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. Uh, we'll be back next time with more city building. Um, and hopefully these will be level uh, and there'll be roads in there. I mean, most of them are pretty good, actually. There's just a few of them that are clearly like floating. Is there an easy way? Is there a quick way to do this? Can I just be like, click on this and be like, ground it. Alignment tools. Ground it. Align height. Oh, actually, you know what? Oh, there is actually a quick way to do that. Okay, cool. All right, cool. That, that's actually awesome. <laughs> I didn't actually think there was. That's awesome. All right, that will make my job easier. I probably just like most of them align it with a road height or something. I might even just like level out some of this area to make it quicker. We'll see how we go. But until then, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.